Good evening YouTube. I wanted to go over quite a few things that's been going on in the news lately. I'm sure you've all seen it. Um, of course the uh, the latest escapades in Baltimore with Marilyn Mosby, the district attorney, or state's attorney, uh, who is, I'm sorry, best way to put it, a disgrace to herself and to her office. Last weekend, um, she, with her and her husband Nick, who is the city councilman for the district that was more or less destroyed in looting and he defended the looters himself. He was on actually on Fox and he was defending the actions of the looters. They uh, they were the ringmasters of the universe soul. Uh, instead of universal, it's universe soul circus. And they went out there and did their uh, little dance and basically and they're enjoying their celebrity status now and of course the the whole theme of the circus is your life matters and be that and now there she's trying to um, not only put a gag order on the defense but she's trying to basically make it so that the defense can't even see some of the evidence which you know what are you hiding uh, my guess is the case is not going as well as she planned but on top of all that, in the news, we just had the uh, the shooting in Boston PD of the suspected, excuse me, terrorist. You can call him suspected terrorist. And the defense of him by the Black Lives Matters crowd, which I, I, I can't for the life of me figure out. And now announced today and yesterday that the Black Lives Matter crowd, not all of them, some of them, are going to be protesting Pamela Geller, the one who organized the Dra Muhammad concert and beyond any pale of scale or reality why they would be doing that other than the fact that I, I, I you have to say it, are they supporting these ISIS scumbag terrorists um, the the guy that was shot in Boston is black um, to me that should have nothing to do with it it was what he was planning and what he wanted to do he wanted to behead Pamela Geller and when that didn't pan out for him, he obviously wanted to behead a, a, a cop. It didn't matter, just a cop. I'm, you know, to me, this is this is this is not alleged terrorism. This is terrorism. ISIS is here, um, and to defend this man and anything that goes on with it is is a disgrace. But I think this gets back into where this country is heading. This country is heading down a very dark path. Um, you can see it now. You can see the the whole disgusting turn of events over the last six months. Baltimore, Cleveland. Um, I hate to say it, but if the Tamir Rice case goes anywhere that I that I think it might go, if they if they rule a justifiable homicide. I think you're going to see not only Cleveland go up, I think you're going to see that just ping-pong to other cities because of it. Look at Baltimore. I mean, how fast Baltimore almost went up, thanks to the mayor, who did nothing but allow her police department to get peppered, pelted, beat on, thrown things thrown at, while she, in her own words, gave them places that you know place to destroy I think if that happens if that case goes south for the Black Lives Matter crowd I think you're gonna see Cleveland go up I think you're gonna see other cities follow in its wake Minneapolis possibly there's a slew of these cases over and over and over again and I think half are manufactured at the same time you have people very very nervous over the economy um, and I can't say as a blame the economy. They just had a thing on the news yesterday. Stuart Varney, who was very well respected, that 50% of the people in this country right now could not cover an emergency expense with more of more than $400 in cash. Not a credit card. Not pushing it off on credit card because that's that's just kicking it down the road. An actual expense, an emergency expense of more than $400. They could not do it that's 50 percent of your up that's staggering that tells you where this country is headed to a dark place 
Um, do I think it's going to get worse? I think it's going to get much worse. I've told people, um, and I'm going to repeat it again, stock up on supplies. Water, food, ammo. If you haven't decided on a defense gun, go out and get it now. Again, I recommend a good 12-gauge pump shotgun. Um, that's This is where I stand. I am telling people the country we grew up in is, is gone, and we're not getting it back. I think the America that most of us grew up with is not coming back. Now, on the other side of this scale, gun owners themselves are being looked at because of stupid, stupid people. And there was one on the news who decided to walk into an airport with his AR-15 because he felt that was because of his constitutional right to open carry. Okay, it is your right to do that. I don't agree with you acting like an idiot. You have to have discretion. Now, some people are going to disagree with me. You can call me whatever you want. Here's my logic on this. What do you think the people who are in the middle of the fence on gun ownership, when they see the guy walking in the middle of the airport with an AR-15, what do you think they're going to do? You think they're going to run out and join the NRA? No, no, no. Most of them are not. Most of them are going to go, geez, if that's what those gun owners are like, I don't want to be part of them. And if you don't think the Brady Bunch and uh, Obama and the rest of these, anyone wanting to pass gun control isn't going to point to somebody like that. See, it's people like that. Yeah, he's law-abiding. Yeah, he has committed a crime. But look at look what he's done. Look how he's scaring people. If you don't think they're going to use that, you're wrong. So, I think, again, we're heading to a dark, pretty dark place with this country. I think things are going to get worse. Um, if I were anyone near a city, I would have an evacuation plan. I'd have my car full of full gas every day and backup routes of how to get out of the city any one time. So, I'll keep this one short, folks, and I'll let people ponder on that and what's going on. Have a good night.